Today we're dealing with distances and midpoints on a number line. And uh, there are a couple of things to remember here when you're finding distances between two points on a number line. If both the points are positive, let's say you wanted to find the distance between 2 and 7, you're really just subtracting. I mean, the distance between 2 and 7 is 7 minus 2. That's 5 units. You can count them if you've got the number line in front of you. But with two positive numbers, if you just subtract them, you're going to get the distance. The same thing actually works with two negative numbers. Let's say we had the distance between negative 5 and negative 9. You could just ignore the negative signs and say I've got 9 and 5. If I subtract them, the distance is 4. The difference is 4, so the distance is 4. So for pairs of positive numbers, pairs of negative numbers, just take the, the number part, subtract it, you've got the distance. It's a little bit different when you have a negative number and a positive number. So let's say you wanted to find the distance between negative 3 and 4. So here's our distance. You could count that, of course. If you've got a number line and you can plot it, you can always count it. But if you've got bigger numbers, sometimes that doesn't work so well. What you'll notice here is that you really have two parts to this problem. You have the distance between the negative number and 0, which is 3 in this case, and you have the distance between the positive number and 0, which is 4 in this case. From negative 3 up to 0, it's 3 spaces. From 4 down to 0, it's 4 spaces. You add those together, you get 7. So that's our distance here between negative 3 and 4. The method you can use is just ignore the signs, and instead of subtracting, you add. So uh, when you get one positive and one negative, ignore the signs and add the numbers. You'll get the distance. Let's try this with a couple of problems here. The first one says, find the distance between the points with coordinates 19 and 11. OK, these are both positive, so all I have to do is subtract. So this is 19 minus 11, so that is going to be a distance of 8. This next one says, find the distance between the points with coordinates of negative 49 and 7. So this is a positive and a negative number, so I want to ignore the sign and then add them together. So 49. That's the distance it takes to get from negative 49 up to 0. And then 7, the distance from 0 up to 7, that's going to be a positive 56. You know, distance is always a positive number. So if you come up with a negative number for the answer for distance, you know you're not on the right track. Let's look at some midpoint problems now. So when you're trying to find the midpoint, the middle point between two numbers, there's a technique you can use. First, find the distance. We know how to do that now. And then you're going to divide that distance by 2. And then you're going to count from one end. So let's take an easy one that we would know. Let's say the, the midpoint between, oh, I don't know, 0 and 2. Well, the distance there is 2. You divide that by 2, you get 1. And then you count from one end to the other, you get 1. And that's clear. 1 is the, the midpoint. It's the middle between 0 and 2 here. Let's try that same technique with this one, negative 4 and 1. So finding the distance between negative 4 and 1, it's a negative and a positive. So we're going to ignore the sign and add. So that's a total distance of 5. So let me just jot that down. Our distance equals 5. When we divide that by 2, we get 2 and a half, or, or 5 halves, either way you want to put it. So we're going to take that number and count from one end of this or the other. So uh, we've got negative 4, and we've got 1. So that's a, And our total distance here was 5. So we're going to count 2 and a half from one of the sides. It should end you on the same spot, whichever side you count it from. Let me start from negative 4. 1 brings me up to negative 3. Uh, 2 brings me up to negative 2, and 1 half would be right here. So it looks like we're at negative 1 and 1 half, or negative 3 halves. And if I counted down from 1, which is the other end, I'd get 1, 2, and a half. Yeah, so that brings me to the same midpoint. So our answer here is negative 1 and a half. Let's try one more like that. So here we've got, again, a negative and a positive. So I'm going to ignore the signs and add these together to get the total distance. 11 plus 9 is 20. So our distance is 20. And then we want to divide that in half. That's easy. That's 10. So we want to count 10 from one side or the other. Well, let me stick in negative 11 here. 
So 10 is going to bring me up to negative 1. And if I counted down from 9, 9 to get to 0 plus 1 more, negative 1. Yeah, so that makes sense. So our midpoint here is going to be negative 1. One thing to keep in mind when you're looking at um, your original coordinates, if, you, if you've if you got a positive and a negative, if your negative is bigger in magnitude than your, than your positive, your midpoint's going to be negative. And that happened in both these cases, so I think we're on the right track here. Let's look at one other type of problem that might pop up uh, in this unit. It says to find the distance between these points, and it gives us points with x and y coordinates on a Cartesian plane. And um, there is a, a formula to figure out the distance between any two points, points that are diagonal away from each other. These problems are actually simpler than that, so we don't need that big complicated formula yet. You might notice in this one, the x coordinates are the same. What that means is that on the x, these two points are no distance apart. They stay the same on the x. The only part they're changing on is the y. Let me just plot these so you can see that. So 5, negative 2 would be right here, and 5, negative 5 would be right here. So the x doesn't change at all. It's only the y, and the y is 3 units apart. So the distance here, the answer is going to be 3. You can do this by ignoring the x because it doesn't change and just taking the y coordinates as if they were on a number line. And since they're both negative, we ignore the signs and subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. So that's our answer there. Let's try another one like this. Here, the x coordinates change, 8 and negative 1. Ah, but the y coordinates stay the same. So if we were going to graph this, let's see, we don't have 8 on here. This would be about here and 5 and then negative 1 and 5 would be here. So yeah, these guys are not changing on the y, they're only changing on the x. So that's all we have to look at is the difference here, the distance between the x coordinates. We've got a positive and a negative, so ignore the signs and add. 8 plus 1 is 9, so our distance here is going to be 9. So that's a little bit of work with uh, midpoints and distances on the number line.